Now, I saw something in the news recently that um, we were talking about this earlier. It affects the women in my audience. So I want to start tonight by talking to them. Hello, ladies. <laughs> That's all I got. Now, I'll admit, I'll admit up front that I'm no expert on women. Here's what I know. You don't like to be cold, and you vote a lot more than us men. Thank you for picking up the slack. Also, you do. They vote way more than men do. Also, if you're pregnant, you're not supposed to drink. It's bad for the baby, and I assume the baby bump throws off your balance when you're doing keg stands. <laughs> but now, the Centers for Disease Control, the CDC, is saying that even women who aren't pregnant should avoid drinking. And since so I am no expert on women, here to further explain this is one of my writers, Ariel Dumas. Ariel, would you join us, please? All right, Ariel, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Ariel, say hi to Ariel, everybody. Right. Ariel, now, you are, in fact, a woman, correct? Uh, yes. Could I see some ID, please? Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. And sex F, that checks out. Okay. <laughs> That's how I check, too. Okay. <laughs> So, Ariel, what's the deal with the new CDC warning that women shouldn't drink, even if they're not pregnant? Uh, well, they released this graphic. Jim, can we put that up? According to the CDC, any woman who drinks is at risk for sexually transmitted diseases and or unintended pregnancy. Okay, wow. Okay, so that means that Kathy Lee and Hoda are really living on the edge every day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. Now, I assume the CDC has a similar warning for men? <laughs> no, they do not. Well, maybe we don't need it because men already have that PSA about the risks of drinking and then having an ice cold train come through and cool off the whole <laughs> bikini volleyball team. There is a serious risk of carpal tunnel from getting high fived by your bros. Yeah. All right? <laughs> now, do you believe the warnings are helpful to women? Oh, oh, this warning was long overdue. Uh, anytime we drink, we could get pregnant. Let's say you're home alone, catching up on Empire. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not crack open that Chardonnay. You'll be in a cab to your ex-boyfriends faster than Cookie can say, you're messing with the wrong bitch, Lucius. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. So even if you're not in a relationship, even if you're not in a relationship, okay, what if you don't actually, you know, um, like men, what about the ladies who date ladies? Should they drink? They are not safe either. You and your girlfriend might think it's just Miller time, but one sip and you are running downstairs to the guy in 3B with a turkey baster. <laughs> He'll think it's fun until you capture his seed, enslave him, and raise the child to sacrifice at your coven. All right. <laughs> that happens far too often. Oh, Thank yeah. you, Ariel. Thank you, Ariel. Ariel Dumas, everybody. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. I know you have to get back to your lumberjacking. Thank you so much for being here. Ariel.